What's up everyone? In this video, I am going to uh, create this UI, which is the Amazon UI. It's pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna speed code it, right? Uh, because I am expecting that you guys have basic knowledge about Flutter. So when you see this UI, I basically like to divide and conquer everything. So you divide this into small bits, like into sections, and then based on those sections, we'll go over it, right? Um, so in my case, I see three sections. One being, this is the app bar. That is the top app bar, um, which contains the search bar, the back button, um, and this address thing. The second would be this part where I have this toggle button, this prime image, um, filter button and etc. And then the third would be my navigation UI where I list some of the items uh, that you can shop from Amazon. Right now, these will be just static images. Oops, sorry. Oh, I can use marker, nice. So these will be static images, but I will make it scrollable. So let's say if we have a list of 10 items, you can sc keep on scrolling and the scrolling should happen such that all these sections stay same, right? Because you don't want to remove all this. Like, let's say if I'm scrolling and then I figure out that I need to toggle this filter. So then I can use that way. So let's jump on to coding. First, I'll start with my standard thing where, okay, so initially, so this is just a screenshot that I took from uh, online website. Um, I will try to clone it. It might not be same, but uh, let's, let's give our best. So this is the demo app that starts up. Um, I would like to add assets to it as we'll be using static images. Okay, so now this part is ready. Let's close this and let's start with the coding part. Um... So here you can see that my app bar is complete. It has a back button. Let's check the image. So it has a back button, search bar, camera and everything. So what I did here is, um, yeah, I went to my home page. This is my app, main app. It takes a children array and in the array, I pass the app bar component. So this whole is the app bar, right? This full. Now inside that app bar, what I did here is I created one more component just for the search bar and everything else is inside the app bar. So inside the search bar, I have um, uh, added some box shadow and I have also added, there are three icons, right? So one is search, one is camera, one is mic. Okay, so now moving forward to the next part would be this area. So now I'm gonna speed code. Um, that part
okay so i think our next part is also complete let's try to uh, oops uh, correct I think I need to restart it. okay so now we can see that our prime logo the toggle button and this filter is created we created it in this component we need one more component uh, results but that is the next component that we'll be working on so i'll be speed coding that now Okay, awesome so I'll quickly go over this last section as well so I created results section and inside results I, I need to show this as a scrollable as well as each component contains an image text stars and then the cost and when it will be delivered by so for that I basically created a single child scroll view so it has this child one child and then inside this child I have columns so columns takes an array so you can put as many things in it so I have three items for now and the easiest way I did was I created another class for item and for each item you know I have an image place for image place for um, the text place for the stars right now it's hard coded but we can move it and maybe store it somewhere and then dynamically add to this similarly we have the next container limited time deal then the text and one more text so it's self-explanatory 
I will be pushing this code to GitHub and linking it in description so you guys can take a look at it later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone.